Hello everyone! In this video, we will know about the cytokines, the regulators of the immune response. Cytokines are proteins or glycoprotein molecules produced by T helper cells. They are potent in very low concentrations and over secretion of cytokines can result in systemic toxicity. Their effects are transient, they are not specific, they attach to their target immune cells through receptors. Many cytokines can do the same function and this is called redundancy. And every cytokine can do multiple functions and this is called pleiotropism. A cytokine can act on an autocrine manner working on the same cell that produced it or on a paracrine manner working on the neighboring cell. Cytokines also can collaborate to act on a network. An example is the action of interleukin-12 produced by macrophage. Interleukin-12 activates the helper-1 cell to produce interferon gamma that activates macrophage and so on. They can work in synergy as the synergistic combination between interferon gamma and the tumor necrosis factor alpha in activating macrophages also, they can work as antagonists like interleukin-1, which is pro-inflammatory, and interleukin-10, which is, an in, uh, is anti-inflammatory. And now, who are the most important cytokines? First, cytokines of the innate immunity. Type 1 interferon, interferon alpha and interferon beta. They interfere with viruses, as we, uh, as we will see later on. Interleukin-12 produced by macrophages and pro-inflammatory cytokines which are interleukin-1, interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha and the chemokines. Chemokines are chemotactic factors like interleukin-10 which calls for neutrophils and eutaxin which calls for eosinophils. The important regulatory cytokine interleukin-10. Now Cytokines that are produced by T helper cells. Cytokines produced by T helper 1 lymphocytes include interferon gamma, the most important cytokine that's secreted from T helper 1 cell and the whole mark of the T helper 1 cell. T helper 1 cell also secretes interleukin 2 and the tumor necrosis factor beta. Interleukin 4 produced by T helper 2 cell and it is the whole mark of the T helper 2 cell. Also, a T helper 2 cell can secrete interleukin 5 and the transforming growth factor beta. T helper 1 uh, cytokines promote inflammatory response, while transforming growth factor beta produced by the T helper 2 cells has anti-inflammatory function. Lastly, we have hematopoietic cytokines. Interleukin-3 and the granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor produced by, the cell, by T helper cells and interleukin-7 produced by bone marrow. Let's discuss their functions in detail and start with interferon. The cytokines that combat viruses. Type 1 interferon, including interferon alpha produced by monocytes and macrophages, and interferon beta produced by fibroblasts, while interferon gamma produced mainly by the T helper 1 cell and also by the natural killer cell. Type 1 interferon is produced in response to infected cell by a virus, and they act to protect the neighboring cells from becoming infected. First, the neighboring cells enter in an antiviral state by inhibiting RNA replication. Then, the increase expression of MHC class 1 molecules on cell surfaces so they can call for T-cytotoxic cells help. Third, they also activate natural killer cells. The last function of type 1 interferon is inhibiting cells proliferation and this is a protective mechanism against the tumors. For interferon gamma, Interferon gamma main function is activating and helping macrophages. It synergizes with uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha to help the fusion of lysosomal bag of enzymes with the phagosome containing the organism 
produce lethal nitric oxide and also it stimulates macrophages to secrete interleukin 12 to stimulate the T helper 1 to produce more interferon gamma and so on. It increases expression of MHC class 2 molecules on the surface of macrophages and MHC class 1 molecules on cell surfaces. It promotes T helper 1 response and inhibits T helper 2 response. Also activates natural killer cells. And those are the functions of type 1 interferon and the type 2 interferon. Next, we have interleukin-12. As we said, it's produced by monocytes and macrophages to activate natural killer cells to produce interferon gamma and stimulate T helper cell to differentiate into T helper 1 cell to produce interferon gamma. Now, let's talk about the pro-inflammatory cytokines. Tumor necrosis factor alpha produced by monocytes and macrophages in response to bacterial endotoxin. And the tumor necrosis factor beta produced by T helper 1 cell. Interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 produced by monocytes and the macrophages and also T helper 2 can produce interleukin 6. Their functions are calling for neutrophils to engulf bacteria and stimulate liver to secrete the acute phase proteins like C-reactive protein and fibrinogen and also they promote inflammation. Also tumor necrosis factor alpha synergizes with interferon gamma to activate macrophages and they also combat tumor cells. High concentrations of these cytokines can result in systemic toxicity, fever, shock, renal failure and even death. Interleukin-6 also acts as a growth factor for B lymphocytes. Lastly, we have interleukin-8 that acts as a chemotactic factor for neutrophils and eutaxin that calls for eosinophils. They are also produced by monocytes and macrophages, and those are the pro-inflammatory cytokines. We have also anti-inflammatory cytokines. We have two anti-inflammatory or regulatory cytokines that are produced by macrophages and the T helper 2 cells. Interleukin 10 and the transforming growth factor beta which act also as growth factor that promotes healing of cells. Another cytokine is interleukin 2 produced by T helper 1 cells. It helps B cells and the T cells proliferation stimulates T cells to produce cytokines and an important function that interleukin 2 activates natural killer cells to become lymphokine activated killer cell which kills abnormal cells effectively. For T helper 2 cells there are two important cytokines interleukin 4 and interleukin 5. Of course, interleukin-4 is the most important and the hallmark of T helper 2 cells. Also, natural killer cells and basophils can secrete interleukin-4. Interleukin-4 promotes humoral immunity. It activates B lymphocytes to produce antibodies and stimulates class switching to IgE secretion. Also, activates eosinophils in response to presence of ailments. It mediates allergy, specifically type 1 hypersensitivity reaction and promote T helper 2 response and inhibits T helper 1 response and inflammatory reactions. Interleukin 5 activates eosinophils mainly and mediates allergic reactions. Interleukin 3 is one of the hematopoietic cytokines produced by T helper cells. It stimulates red blood cells and white blood cells production. Granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor promotes production of granulocytes and monocytes. Bone marrow and the thymus gland produce interleukin 7 that promotes B and the T cells growth. And before the end, we have two teams T helper 1 that activates the cell mediated immunity and the T helper 2 that promotes humoral immunity. T helper 1 most important cytokines are interferon gamma, interleukin 2 
and pro-inflammatory tumor necrosis factor alpha and beta. T helper 2 most important cytokines are interleukin 4, interleukin 5, and anti-inflammatory interleukin 10 and the transforming growth factor beta. T helper 1 response is promoted by interferon gamma and inhibited by interleukin 4. And T helper 2 response is promoted by interleukin 4 and inhibited by interferon gamma. Also, T helper 1 response is promoted by interleukin 12 and inhibited by interleukin 10. Some studies was done to benefit from cytokines in therapeutic purposes and succeeded to introduce interferon as a therapeutic agent for treating viral hepatitis. It was tried for lymphomas and leukemias. Also, interleukin-2 was tested to, st uh, to stimulate immunity. However, its side effects were very severe. Granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor was also tried for bone marrow depression. Thank you for watching. See you soon with humoral immunity. Good night.